deliriously happy. I am traveling! Hi, I'm Kim Ann, and this is Ron and Lilo. We've been living full time in this truck camper for two years. In my 50s, I decided to stop existing and start living my dreams. I left my life and career to become a nomad and travel. If you like our videos, please subscribe, like, and comment. We'd be so grateful. My daughter came to visit one of my favorite people in the world. And I'm so happy to be spending time with her. This is my daughter, Katina. Hi. <laughs> I spent a few weeks in Florida with my family because my daughter was visiting. We went to dinner with my parents, played card games, and just enjoyed each other's company. If you saw my last video where I told you why I live in a truck camper, one of my reasons was to spend more quality time with family. It's travel day, and before we get on the road, I wanted to wake up early to see one last Florida East Coast sunrise. Good morning. Usually I hate waking up with a warm clock, but this one's gentle actually. It doesn't scare the crap out of me. Come on, Ron. Come on, we're going. We're going to the beach. Come on, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Ron does not want to get up. Come on, Ron. This is weird for us. Good boy, Ron. You here <laughs> getting bit up like something. I didn't check the weather. I always get caught. It's been like three times where there was like major weather. Hail, tornadoes, and I just drive right through it because I didn't check the weather. And I have a, a weather, travel weather app too. Co-pilot, please check the weather for me. We're about to stop at one of my favorite places to stop on the road. Bucky's! Bucky's is packed as usual.
happy. I am traveling. I'm out of Florida. I'm in Albany, Georgia, but I don't care. I'm out of Florida. I am traveling. Yay! <laughs> So I found a place to stop for the night in Ufala, Ufala, Alabama, at a Walmart. Um, I don't see any signs that you can't park overnight, and I didn't see any reviews for it either. So hopefully nobody gives me the knock. But my curry is muy bueno, muy bueno, <laughs> muy bueno. <laughs> Good morning. We're waking up in the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> Once again, my camper is a disaster from traveling, being at my parents, putting everything in bags. I have dishes from last night and no water. I didn't fill up my water. Hey guys. This is where our lovely view this morning. The Walmart. Whatever the city is. I'm gonna go get some water in Walmart and make some coffee. So I forgot to fill my water up, even though it was at the top of my to-do list. Uh, oh, a little bit. So I'm trying to finish my dishes with bottled water. It really makes me appreciate when I'm in a house or when I'm somewhere plugged in and hooked up to water where I have unlimited water. It's, it's amazing. It really makes me thankful when I do. Okay. Let me finish my dishes. I'm driving and eating a vegan cheese sandwich with spinach and mustard and sauerkraut. <laughs> I don't do dairy. It's really good. Oh. Mm
So we made it to Arkansas and I'm in the same dilemma I was yesterday, last night. It's 8.04, I don't know where I'm staying, but I know everything will work out. So I'm just gonna check some apps. Um, they do, They I did read that you can stay at an Arkansas um, rest area overnight, but I wanna drive a little bit further. So um, maybe I'll stay at an Arkansas rest area. We'll see. We'll see. Something will work out. It always does. We're waking up in a Cracker Barrel in Arkansas. There's a little bit of noise pollution going on outside. That's okay though. Uh, ew. Uh, I have to wash these windows. Ah, lovely flowers across the street. Sunshine. Grateful it wasn't really hot last night. I don't have AC. Say good morning, Lily. Lilo. Morning, Ron. Taking the dogs for a walk here at the Cracker Barrel. I'm always cautious when opening the door. And they just run out and cars can be coming. Where are you? Dumpster. get some food, some coffee, and do our dishes and hit the road. Ah, today I get to go to my cousin's house in Oklahoma. So excited to see them. Hi guys! Let me share my breakfast with you. Cracker barrel! So I got impossible sausage, fruit, and some toast. And I'm gonna make a sandwich, a breakfast sandwich. Serenaded by dogs as I eat my breakfast. They want to get out of this camper. Uh, let me try to give them a bone to shut them up. Oh yeah. Works every time. Now I'm going to eat my impossible sausage open-faced breakfast sandwich um.
had no water. I didn't take a shower for like three days. <laughs> but I did make it to my cousin's and I'm gonna go shower in a real shower. Very exciting. This is the view of her front yard. That's her house. Lovely. Very nice shower. It's like a waterfall head and all these. Wow, this is complicated. <laughs> a lot more complicated than my wet bath. It even gives you the temperature. Very nice. I'm going to enjoy this. This is our morning. Ah. View. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Isn't that beautiful. It's so green. Last time I was here, it was very brown. Lily? Ronald? <laughs> this is who I'm pet sitting for. Pretty Sophie and handsome Leo. The first day I was there, we got some severe weather. We just had a wicked thunderstorm come through 80 mile an hour winds and I was not prepared. I left the window open on my camper. So I'm gonna go assess. Okay. <gasps> Oh my God, the window just closed. <laughs> thank, thank God it's fine. Uh, everything is fine. I always get caught in weather because I don't check the weather. Oh my God, thank God everything is fine. I take the camper off the truck when I stay someplace longer than a few days. It makes it easier to just take the truck for errands and town stops. And it also gets the camper's weight off the truck. My cousin has water and electric hookups in her yard. My camper's electricity is 30 amp and there is a 50 amp plug. So I needed to use my 50 to 30 amp dog bone adapter. And I'm also using my surge protector to protect my electrical system from possible damage from storms. First, I remove the torque lift fast gun turn buckle camper tie downs. Wow, that's hard to say. Next, I remove the torque lip frame mounted camper brackets. They're already covered in red Oklahoma mud. It's time to raise the camper with the hydraulic jack system so to engage it press that and then I'll use this handy dandy remote I'm moving my license plate from the camper to the truck. Florida is one of the states where they consider a truck camper cargo and you don't need a separate registration. I got into a few sticky situations from forgetting to do this and driving my truck without a license plate. Once at a border security stop in New Mexico and also on a three hour drive to Key West. Luckily, both were close calls. 
My next step is to level the camper. I use the Bubble app on my phone as a leveler. I don't know how accurate it is, but it seems to be working. I use a leveling remote until I am close to level. Next, I'm setting up the stable camper system. This prevents forward and side-to-side -side sway when the camper is off the truck. This system is a game changer. I've gone through a category one hurricane and didn't even notice the wind. There you go. Camper unloaded, level. It's a lot easier for me to unload than it is to load, but both are doable for anybody. If I could do it, anybody could do it. <laughs> Ta-da! I'm sweating and I'm gonna go get some iced tea. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you so much. Remember to always be kind, especially to yourself. And we'll see you next time.